it's finally happening. We are watching Arcane, and I have seen Arcane before, but before you leave, I'm going to be watching season two in a couple of weeks. You know, I'm bringing this out at a brilliant time. I'm going to be doing the acts every week, and then it'll lead into season two, and then those will be coming out, you know, weeks after. So, do you know what? Slays. But I have seen Arcane before. I've seen it at least a hundred times because it's in incredible. It's just so good. It's literally the reason that I am an animation student and into the Spider Verse, that too. But yeah, I have <laughs> definitely seen it before and I'm currently making some custom Arcane Jordans as well. So yeah, I'm very familiar with Arcane, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that I can't watch it again, do you know what I mean? And y'all can watch it with me. You know, it's just we're watching our favourite show together, do you know what I mean? So I think you should personally stay for the ride and obviously subscribe for the first time watching season two. Cause it's gonna be a wild ride and it's gonna be great and yeah. I feel like I don't really have much else to say, but this is going to be the first proper reaction video, hopefully, to a TV show. So hopefully copyright doesn't kick me in the arse like it normally does with films and whatnot, because I've tried this before and it just doesn't, it's not gone well for me. So we're going to make this work. So yeah, let's just head into it. I, it's been a hot minute since I've actually watched Arkane, I'm not even going to lie. It's been a fair few months, so I'm prepped and ready to watch this again. It'll never get old. Also, can I just say the soundtrack is fucking incredible. Oh, God. This is how you do an introduction to a TV series. It's so gorgeous. And devastating and terrifying. And the 2D effects will send me into cardiac arrest because they are fucking incredible. Little powder. And also little Vi. Look at our little vest jacket. Cute as fuck. Vander! No! From what I've heard from the League community, I'm scared for season 2. I should also point out that I've never played League before, other than one game. And I don't know anything about the characters properly, so... I'm kinda... an arcane only fan. Oh my god, the music. The visuals. Look at the lighting. Knowing how they do the lighting after the Bridge in the Rift series... Insane. Insane work. I love the vast amount of genres of music they have. There's so much violin in this series, and I absolutely love it. Wait, stop, that is literally the visual for season two. It's nice getting above it all, huh? Yes, it is. Also, love Hayley Steinfeld. Hayley Steinfeld stand account right here. I'm gonna shoot one of them down. I don't think you are. <laughs> You would not catch me, I'd be on the fucking ground with a broken neck. And his eyebrows are whack. You know, Milo kinda reminds me of a Skylanders character. So does Clagger actually. Ugh, oh, the amount of detail that they put into the, this room, it's insane. All hand painted. The art style for Arcana is just... Oh, it's gorgeous. And I'm sad that the next season's the last one, but I'm also glad that they know when to stop. Because there's a problem with uh, producers not knowing when to stop. We're going to see you later. Oh, yeah. How can anyone have so much stuff? Simple. Just get born lucky. Real. And that's on society. The pull and stretch of that little bit of meat. 
so satisfying. I noticed that every single time. It's so satisfying. Even though it's not realistic, it's satisfying as hell. I'm saying that as if, like, blue gemstones in a box. So realistic. Also, so satisfying that catch. Uh oh! Oh my god. Vi was a victim of insane 2D effects. I actually shot myself when I first saw that. I was like, oh my god, she's fucking dead. Right, that is insanity. Why do the police have fucking bowlers? I like the four different ways they all go down the stairs. <laughs> like, just to show their character. That's fucking bogging. Oh, it's the witch's road. <laughs> it actually kinda is. Can't imagine the amount of, like, league easter eggs are in the back of these scenes that your average viewer wouldn't have any idea about. Okay, hear that, Deckard? They don't want any trouble. Mate, you look like fucking Sid from Toy Story. Back the fuck off. Just, Just a, a taste. taste. Just Incredible scenes. Incredible scenes. Shut on. Go back to turning fucking baby toys into spiders or whatever the fuck you do. Gorgeous scenes. Incredible music. I can't imagine the reference videos that animators had to watch to really get the punches in the face correct. Oh. Splinter to the face and all. Wait. Wanna see how that ends? Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, Mauser. I need you. Mauser, I need you. Can you imagine if that actually worked though? That ain't fucking painful. Yay! Ugh, unlucky. It's actually given a lot of The Last of Us vibes. Absolute banger. Absolute banger. Look at all the insanely detailed background characters. They're all just like, you can tell they have insane stories just from the way they look. Yo, it's the lead animator. Wait. I don't remember his name. Is he the CEO of Fortish? Or the... He's like the main guy. The main, main guy. Wait a minute. <laughs> this, uh, uh... This isn't what we agreed on, so... It's a fair price. Her character design is so sick. Oh. Make your choice. Absolutely love that. Go to the animation, the movement that she does with the you knife. Leave us. You sure about that? Hola. Hola, papi. What the hell were you thinking? Oh! I think you should know better than to come back from a job. That's about savage. <laughs> I like the, the difference of how he treats everyone as his children. Still loving in every way, but very different. Um, is that a mini bear trap? You see this look on my face? This will always mean it's time to shut up. But I... Oh, the animation of that part. Another thing that is so satisfying, no matter how many times you see it. Nobody Love it. In. We're closed. We'll open up. For good. Just as well. Owner's the shittiest businessman I know. <laughs> <laughs> how many times do you think they do that? Do you think he does it every time he goes over? Milo kind of has similar eyebrows and hair to Vander. This guy, that's kind of like the first time I've noticed that. Is that where he's covering the cut? If you know, you know. This weirdo came into the shop. <laughs> the weirdo in question is Jace. Evening, friends. Why do they take their masks off when they're inside? Surely the air is not that different. Some trench or trash attack one of the buildings in the oh, academy fuck district. Fuck off, Marcus. Picturing in that. Thick head of yours. Do you think my head is thick? Do you think my head is thick? Uh, just past, just the, past average. the average. 
that's the first red flag. That's when you know that he should be fucking kicked out of the Enforcer squad. Enforcer Academy. Enforcer Police. Enforcer Station. Yeah, I don't know. Lovely chap. I know that a mask is similar to... Jen? Is that his name? A character from League. He's in that really awesome cinematic. Is it Awaken? I think it is. I think it's Awaken. Goated cinematic, by the way. Guys, I'm a fucking idiot, bro. I asked someone to send me the code to attend my class. Because I'm actually meant to be in uni right now. <laughs> and I fucking forgot to put the code in. It's going to show up that I'm fucking late. That is actually so dumb. What a fucking idiot. Anyway, back to Arkane. This will reach me. What are you calling this one? Satisfying. Whisker. Whisker. I want to see Whisker and Mauser in season two, please. Like, fully fledged working nail bomb. Sick as fuck. That's where Clagger got his foot stuck running from enforcers. Left him there. Oh, he's taking a fuss. When I was a kid, some guy took my favorite toy and threw it up there. We've all had bad days, but we learn, and we stick together. Cute. Let's keep this our little secret. Milo's wrong. Oh, the music build up. This city's gonna respect us. Oh, that actually gives me chills every single time I see it. It's so good. The visuals with the music. We love. Jump scare, and I'm not talking about the chair slam, I'm talking about that fucking hairless cat! Ugly! You were supposed to follow them and not interfere. That big fucking creepy fish I'm sorry. is just creepy. Cut Such a cool way to use the shadows to keep him hidden. With the smoke and light in the background. Hey! Ah, uh, and then he turns with a glowing eye. Our timeline has moved I need to know what happened to his it's eye. Almost ready. Are we? I don't think we'll ever find out what happens to his eye. If you know, you know. I don't assume anyone's watching this without having seen Arkane. So I'm sorry if you are. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin a lot. Watch it and then come back and watch this. Oh, what a pilot! What an episode! We love. Anyway, on to the next one. Jace perspective. <laughs> is someone in there? The way they did this was so smart. The Joe perspective. Hey, open up. Introduction to a new character. <laughs> and I have a cup of tea. Irrelevant, but I thought y'all should know. And here's proof. Yes. Don't talk about the way I hold my mug, because I am insecure. Anyway, Jace got blown up, but. Who asks? Who cares? Am I right? I do love this scene though. It's incredible. Gorgeous. What were y'all doing to get in this situation? Look at them black fingers, they're gonna come back around. Hey bestie, everyone says that you're Rise, but I don't think you are. Even though I don't really know much about Rise and League lore in general. But I just don't think you are, because he's purple. And you don't look very purple to me. Ah. Oh. Sick. That shit is so cool. It also gives me chills every time. Incredible. Incredible. And look at the scenery. Also that gemstone like has a symbol on it. Also my question, but not about that. It's about the fact that how the fuck does your mum only have two frostbited fingers? What were you doing with those two fingers? For them to be the only ones with frostbite? I need to know. You wanna tell me how you got them? Yeah, where the fuck did he get the gemstones from? Be careful with that, please. I believe someone should have said that earlier. Someone told me I look like Victor. But I had my hair similar to his. And I don't know who it was. Who are you anyway? <laughs> who are you anyway? We can find the physical body, yet the mind is still free. Well... Most people's minds don't do too well in confinement. A way to harness magic through science. Magic? Yes. No. No? Incredible meme. Incredible meme. 
Own your mistakes before the council, but speak nothing of magic. Do that and I theorize you'll get away with- Uh, slop in the dust. Yeah. 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 Get shot on. Is that a reference from this year? Hot who? Sorry, who was the one that launched him through? Because bro has some crazy ass arms. Hey guy. Well, you know like those little snap things that you like threw on the ground and they pop. It was like, I don't know, it was, in, it was like a bit of gunpowder or something, who knows. Imagine she just did that with one of the gemstones. Just threw it at her feet. Oh, I love the camera angles in this scene. Yes! You'd hide those crystals. Yeah. yeah, no shit. Daddy is stagnant, Alora. They wish Yo, what's up, Mel? How we doing? Nice to see you again. Ah, Caitlin's mom. Caitlin's mom looking fine as hell. What is what is Caitlin's mom's name? No reason, of course. Do I look afraid? No. no. You look no. Weak. weak. Savage. Fucking savage. I fucking hate you. Ah, the door kind of looks like a wrench as well. Symbolism. Symbolism! The sound design for this scene is so good. Love it. You are accused of illegal experimentation, endangering the citizens of Piltover. What do you have to say for yourself? Guilty. True. My actions were against Academy regulations. What I did endangered people. It was reckless. I asked the council's forgiveness. Do you have anything to show for your work besides an explosion? Mel's too smart. None of the other councillors would ask that. The Academy seems to have loosened its standards. This is a fine line. If we condone this, what's it take you? See, these are all valid points, actually. I was trying to create magic. Uh-oh. My race was nearly destroyed by it. Bro seems to just not have anything to say throughout the trial. He doesn't have very much input. Useless spot in the council, I would say. That's a burden that only I here carry. Time. I've seen this power in the wrong hands. Ooh, yeah. It corrupts, consumes. Gorgeous canvas painting. That cannot happen here, my boy. And that's a valid point. He must be banished from Piltover. That's. Please let me speak. Not ideal. But as a mother, there's her a voice that mechanical deeply. fingers. My son isn't in his right mind. His entire life, he's chased an impossible dream. Savage. That is actually really savage. <laughs> It'd be your own family. Please, let him come home. But she kind of had to say that. I move that Jace be summarily expelled from the academy and remanded to the care of his parents. All those in favor? Yeah. She kind of control- I mean, it's very- Morally incorrect, but you know, I can respect her for it. Fuck off, Marcus. Nobody wants to see you. Arcane sound design goes hard. Arcane everything goes hard. Like, who am I kidding? Could these stones really invoke magic? Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. No, no, no. Magic is far too dangerous in the wrong. That's a really sick notebook. I would love a sketchbook that looked like that. You're telling me that it's just floating about under the water? Beautiful, aren't they? Fuck oh, off. No, they're not. And that. Also, the animation for that is. Gorge. It's so fluid and liquidy. Weird way to put it, but, you know, not wrong. Who will do anything to achieve it? I'm gonna be quoting everything for the rest of this series. I hope you all know. It's time to let the monster out. Bro said... Lol, fuck it. Oh, Insane. Insanity. Oh! Gorge! Look at those leaves. We can't be friends anymore. Savage. Why are you out here? I'm a misfit too, I suppose. She really just said, I'm not like other girls. Come inside, Caitlin. Now. Betty. 
she's a baddie. Your mom is a baddie. I think you've done enough. Okay. I don't really know why you're so mad. I mean, your daughter almost blew up, but she didn't. <laughs> like question if your best is up to the task. Oh, oh, we'll shut find up. them. Don't worry. We've conducted exhaustive interrogations. That's her saying, Marcus, shut the fuck up. Let me speak. Uh, fuck Marcus. Could I get you? Four sump rats will do. <laughs> <gasps> Fucking comedian, man. He's an absolute comedian. I ran into an old friend of yours. He had some stories. Hey, you were fucking shitting it when you were with him. I acting like a hard man. Yeah, gay. Okay. See if you're in force of buddies weren't there. What would you be doing? No, nothing. <laughs> Why the fuck did you put yourself in that position? You're just a small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. I saw so unnecessary. What the fuck? We need to fight back. And if you won't, I will. I've heard this kind of talk before. From a certain someone whose name rhymes with Schmelko. We were here, we saw what they did. I grew up knowing I'm less than them. That my place is down there. I want Powder to have more than that and I'm willing yep. to fight for it. Nobody wins in war, Vi. That's one way to put it into perspective, Powder. That's got to be so hard for him though. Like his whole life he's chased this dream and someone breaking into his thing, his apartment, and ruining it all and causing him to get expelled from the academy all this and that that is fucked the hell's your problem he's saving your life bud i saw with my own eyes what magic can do the lives it could save no one believed me i want to help you complete your research when you're going to change the world don't ask for permission jace has a really good dream he actually has a good person at heart, I suppose. No work this time. I know it. Maybe you should test them. Me too. Although, be careful where you do it. It's crazy how telling that gift is. Like you know something's so wrong, just from seeing it. Even though it's only been established in one episode, it's not too late. Maybe it's not too late. Oh, I love this song. This is one of- this is like the most underrated song in the series. And it's sad because it's gonna be copyrighted. Unlucky for y'all. Just put it on in Spotify or something and just pretend that it's happening. See, he knows just from looking at it. Ah, ah, for eternity. Anyway, it's the episodes of the first act. Uh, hashtag trauma. Also, insane opening for this episode too. Ever wonder what it's like to drown? Eh, uh, yeah, a little bit, and I don't really fancy it. It's personally not my style. There's this thing. That's what it feels like. Not that I've actually drowned before, but I thought I was going to once. I got stuck under some stairs in a pool, and I was shitting myself. But it's fine. I survived. If you couldn't tell. You could pass a lifetime without ever facing a choice like that, but it changes you forever. For that, I thank you, old friend. Is that why his eyes fucked up? It looked like it was kind of cut in the water there, by Vander. Oh, I ruined it. Um, Y'all have seen this before. Beanzos. Me at every waking moment of the day. Leg shaking. Vander? You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it. Oh. No how the world tries to break you. Stop. Protect the family. I'm guessing that's for me. No. Well, yeah, no, but yeah, but no. You gonna let us make the arrest or not? Why'd you have to bring Marcus with you? 
What is the need, Grayson? I don't, I don't like. Why did you actually bring Marcus? What was the need? Really insane. That's giving me chills. That's just so unexpected. Oh, there was a bunch of enforcers with us. Oh, they're all dead. Hey, bestie. No! Oh, every time it's fucked. Poor Echo Man. This wasn't the deal. Deal's changed. Blood money. Symbolism. We love. Oh, the music. I will say that scene makes it look as if Vander dies. But I only get punched once, so, you know, he's fine. Have a sore jaw, you know. Dragging him out like a dog, that's fucked. Yeah, look what you did, Marcus. You fucking c- Not without the crystals. The enforcers took them all, they're gone. Well, let's go steal them. <laughs> no, no, no. If we're wrong, got to be right, then. Yeah. Why? Do you know Why what? You risk this? Vic, I was about you to say- it was my life's ambition to be an assistant? Well, yeah. Victor truly is, like, risking everything he came up to Piltover and built. Poor wee Echo. That is so sad. What a son. I need more Echo backstory. In the next season, please. Ugh, what the fuck is that? The base violence necessary for change. Ah. He said the he said the episode title. He 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 said the thing. What I did to you, I've never forgiven myself. You are my brother. I hated you, but you kept my respect. We can finally realize our dream. He said that so satisfyingly. Something I also notice every time. You die for the cause, but you won't fight for one. Yeah, but are you fighting as a soldier? Or the leader, because the leaders don't normally go into battle, so you kind of don't fucking care. Because he doesn't have anything to lose, and we know that. You know, Vander kind of gives me, like, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast vibes. Specifically when he's drowning Selko, and I don't know why. Willing to risk exile for your endeavour? That's quite the conviction. Wait a minute, it's oh, a surprise. My bedroom. See you. Oh, could I have... <laughs> we can prove that it works. Hmm. You couldn't do so earlier today. How is tonight any different? I kind of love Mel. Hello. Who took Vander? I don't know, but I need to help him. We're going with you. Oh, that is so cute. Stop it. It's too dangerous. But if family stick together, you said it yourself. You're all I have left. I can't lose you if they come for you. Take this and run. Time to crank it. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, this is... It's like so uncomfortable to watch. But it's like so well done. Oh my god. We need to be careful with those. Wait, I'm saying that as if... We all know what's gonna fucking happen. Like, oh, I'm not prepared. Every time it hurts. I can help them. Yes, you little naive, little, little, little cute, little. Ah, oh. these scenes are so cool. We're breaking you out. How did you get in? It was easy. We found an open window and... Yeah, Vi, we didn't really think that one through, did we? But I'm afraid this will be a very short reunion. The little nod. Oh. She's just insane. That's Jace from Timu. The silence. The imagery. The grab! Oh, it's so sick. I'm saying that because I know Vi's fine. But does this mean that Jace has arcane talents in him? If he can just feel what's right. Because... 
speed that up. Perhaps it's time for the era of magic. For the era of Hextech. I like the era of magic more, if I'm being honest. Hextech has given cringe capitalism, you know? You have to work for me, okay? <sighs> you know, at this point you're meant to be like, yes, powder, let's do something useful, prove yourself, let's go. But knowing we're like, let's not do that, please. How is how is powder okay after that fall? That's kind of a big fall. We set the whole lab aflame. Goodbye, scientist bro. I don't know how you survived that either. That looked kind of fucked. Get shot on Deckard. Somehow you still survive. Why the fuck? Like, oh. This is when you start being like, oh. And then you're like, oh. And then you're like, oh. And you're just kind of, you have chills and you're just kind of sitting with your mouth open because what the fuck just happened? Oh God. And the music. No. Van Der Seen is kids coming to save him and they've just died trying. That's awful. Why the fuck are you alive? Like you were the one Closest to the fucking explosion, bro. Ah! Fuck him up! Ah! Only to be stabbed in the back. Ah! By this motherfucker! He looked kinda like a child there, like really young. Innocent, some may say. Oh, you bitch. See how he got like cut in the wrist there and he has like that thing covering his wrist? I wonder if that's why he covers his wrist, to cover the scar. Also that scene makes him look like, more like the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Is anyone else seeing that? Am I crazy? <laughs> Fuck off you ugly prick man. Hey! And you're dead. Took your fucking time dying though. He seems more put together than Deckard ever was as... Whatever the fuck that is. Shimmer. Shimmer monster. His huge nipple kind of disgusts me every time. <laughs> it's a really sad scene. That scream as well. Oh! The fire with the lightning. My monkey bomb finally worked! You did this. I was saving you. The powder voice actor in this scene. She did such a good job. I told you to stay away. Oh. Oh. Bro, they did the music so well. And this. Ah, the fire match for the rain. Oh, I've watched it 8 million times and my eyes are still welling. Hello, little girl. It's giving predator. Oh, fuck off, Marcus. Fuck off! I can't wait for your downfall. Hello, little girl. The dysfunctional gang's all here. She left me. She is not my sister anymore. It's okay. We will show them all. I can hear the sound of a heart. Oh, this song, the this soundtrack for this series is actually unreal. And the fact that they're like all original songs. It's unreal. I think I have like practically every song on my playlist. So, huh. Just gonna sit here and listen to this for a minute. <laughs> I need time to process. Again. Anyway, that was the first act of Arcane Season 1. And it's incredible. It's so incredible. It's literally so incredible. I don't know what else to say. It's incredible. And I love, and uh, the voice acting, the music, the animation, the mix between 2D and 3D, the painted, uh, sound design, can't forget, we love it all, like, it's top tier, nothing is better. And I'm making a bold claim, so don't shoot me down in the comments. 
anyway, that's it for the first three episodes. Um, we'll be back next week when the next three, and then the week after that, the last three, and then the week after that, season two, when it first releases. So that should be really good. I feel like I'm doing this at a good time. I hope I get everything out in time and it doesn't get shagged by copyright. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I don't know how you couldn't. Maybe I talk too much. I've been told that a fair amount. So, <laughs> anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> Leave me any other movie, TV show game cinematic suggestions down below because I'm looking to build a list of things to watch and also give me some ideas of what to put in the background of my camera because it's fucking boring. It's mm, it's a map. It's a, it's a map. And a radiator. It's, it's boring. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Ciao Bella. Cheery.